హలో వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ మ్యాథ్స్ విత్ బాలకృష్ణ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయినింగ్ క్లాస్ నైన్త్ చాప్టర్ ఫోర్ లైన్స్ అండ్ యాంగిల్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎయిటీన్ సో యూజింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద అట్సెంట్ ఫిగర్ ఫైన్ ద వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ అండ్ వై సో హియర్ ద ట్రయాంగిల్ ఏబిడి ఇన్ దిస్ ట్రయాంగిల్ ఏబిడి కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ వన్ లైన్ ఫ్రమ్ వర్ట్ ఎక్స్ ఏ జాయినింగ్ ది లైన్ జాయినింగ్ ది పాయింట్ సి ఆన్ బిడి so then form how many triangles are here two triangles abc and acd for this abc it is a exterior angle so here how we can find the x and y by using exterior angle property so here in a triangle abc angle acd is a exterior angle exterior angle so we know that what the property exterior angle is equal sum of opposite interior angle so exterior angle is equal sum of opposite interior angle so angle acd is equal angle cba plus angle bac so angle acd is how much 100 angle cba is 65 angle bac is x plus 65 come to left side order pen minus so 100 minus 65 is equal to x 100 minus 65 is how much 35 so x value is how much 35 cba means b b a c means x so here x how much is there in this triangle the x is also same so here in triangle a c d how you can find x and y by using sum of angles in a triangle property so here sum of angles in a triangle is how much 180 degrees in a triangle acd the angles are x 100 y so here x plus 100 plus y is equal to 180 so x value is how much 35 so here 35 plus 100 plus y is equal to 180 so 35 plus 100 how much 135 plus y is equal to 180 so plus 135 is moving to right side order pen minus so y is equal to 180 minus 135 y is equal to 180 minus 135 how much 45 so the value of y is 45 so using information given in the accent figure find the values of x and y so here how many triangles are there two triangles what are there a b c next e c d so for this a b c d this angle is exterior for this triangle e c d it is a exterior angle so here in triangle abc so angle ecd is a exterior angle so here we can find the x value by using exterior angle property so here exterior angle is equal is equal sum of opposite interior angle sum of opposite interior angles so here <coughs> what is the exterior angle ecd interior angles here what 30 and 35 so here angle ecd is equal angle cba plus angle bac cba means this angle bac means this angle so ecd angle how much x is equal 35 plus 30 so 35 plus 30 how much 65 so the x value is how much 65 snest in triangle ecd in triangle ecd here angle aed angle aed it is a exterior angle so is a exterior angle same here also you can use the property exterior angle property so that is your angle aed is equal exterior angle is equal 
sum of opposite interior angle for this angle these two are interior angle okay so ecd plus cde so aed how much y degrees ecd x x value is how much 65 plus 45 so 65 plus 45 how much y is equal 110 degrees so x value is 65 y value is 110 next example tondi in that sent figure qt is perpendicular to pr next angle tqr is 40 angle spr is 30 find x and y find x and y okay here given in triangle pqr qt is perpendicular to pr qt is perpendicular to pr perpendicular means a line which is joining from vertex to opposite line segment meet at one point the angle is how much 90 degrees okay so here in triangle qtr qtr sum of angles sum of angles in triangle q2r is 180 degrees so that is here 40 plus 90 plus x is equal 180 40 plus 90 how much 130 plus x is equal 180 so x is equal 180 minus 130 x is equal how much 50 degrees so x is equal how much ma 50 degrees next what they asking that find y so in triangle psr psr triangle angle qsp angle qsp is exterior angle is exterior angle so here we know that exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angle so exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angle interior angle so angle qsp is equal angle spr plus angle prs so angle qsp is how much y is equal 30 plus x x angle is how much 50 y is equal 30 plus 50 30 plus 50 how much 80 so the y value is how much 80 next example 21 in the adjacent figure the sides ab and ac of triangle abc are produced to e and d respectively if the bisectors of bo and co angle cbe and angle bcd respectively okay meet at the point o then prove that angle boc angle boc is equal 90 minus 1 by 2 of angle BAC. Okay, here bisector means what? It is dividing to two equal parts. So here, sum of angles in a triangle is how much? 180 degrees. So here, uh, given triangle ABC, three angles sum is how much? 180 degrees. Sum of angles. in a triangle abc z equal 180 degrees so here x plus y plus z z equal 180 so y plus z z equal 180 minus x let us take it is equation 1 okay next here bo and co are bisectors of angle cbe and angle bcd bisector means dividing to two equal parts that means this angle is dividing two parts this angle is dividing to two parts okay so sum of angles at a point on a line sum of angles at a point b at point b on ae ray is how much 180 degrees 
Okay, so that is your angle. <coughs> okay, bisectors of CBE and bisect uh, and BCD. So that is your angle. OBE is equal to angle OBC and next angle OCB is equal to angle OCD. It is these two angles are equal, these two angles are equal. So, sum of angles at a point B and AE is 180 degrees. So, that is here angle ABC plus angle CBD, CB. E is how much 180 degrees. So angle ABC is how much Y. So Y plus angle CBE is equal to 180. Plus Y is going to right side add up and minus. Plus Y is moving to right side add up and minus. So here then angle CBE is equal to 180 minus Y. CBE is equal to 180 minus Y. So CBE is dividing on parts, two parts. So here angle CBE is equal to 180 minus Y. So two times of angle OBC, two times of angle BOC. Why? Because here CBE is dividing two equal parts. CBE is equal to two times of this angle or two times of this angle. So here two times of angle OBC is equal to 180 minus Y. 2 multiple it is going to set up and divide. So OBC is equal to 180 minus Y by 2. For this 2 are the common denominator 2. We can write as 180 by 2 minus Y by 2. 2 1 ja 2 90 ja. 90 minus Y by 2. Next angle OBC is equal to 90 minus Y by 2. Similarly, same similarly sum of angles. at point C on AD is how much 180 degrees. So that is your angle ACB plus angle BCD is equal to how much 180 degrees. Angle ACB is how much Z. So Z plus angle BCD is equal to 180. So, angle BCD is equal to 180 minus Z. So, angle BCD is how many in the angle BCD, how many angles are there? Two angles. These two angles are bisector. So, two times of this angle or two times of this angle is equal to angle BCD. So, in the place of angle BCD, we can write as two times of angle OCB is equal to 180 minus Z. So, 2 multiple it is going to set up and divide angle OCB is equal to 180 minus Z by 2. So, for this 2 angle what is the common denominator 2? So, that is here 180 by 2 minus Z by 2 to 1 ja to 90 ja. So, here angle OCB is equal to 90 minus Z by 2. So, in triangle BOC in triangle B O C sum of angles in a triangle is how much 180 degrees. So here angle O B C plus angle O C B plus angle B O C is equal to 180 degrees. Angle O B C is how much 90 minus Y by 2. Angle O C B is how much 90 minus Z by 2 plus angle B O C is equal to 180. 90 plus 90 how much 180 minus Y by 2 minus Z by 2 plus angle BOC is equal to 180. So, here plus 180 is moving right side up and minus. So, Y by 2 minus Z by 2 plus angle BOC is equal to 180 minus 180. 180 minus 180, 0. So, here this 2 minus is moving to right side at a pen plus. So, angle BOC is equal y by 2 plus z by 2. So, here the common denominator is 2. So, by 2 y plus 
z. So from equation 1, x is equal to 180 minus y plus z. x is equal to 180 minus y plus z. Y we can here sum of angles in a triangle is how much? 180 degrees. So here angle BOC is equal to in the place of y plus z. Oh, in the place of y plus z, we can write as 180 minus x. So that is here 180 minus x by 2. So angle BOC is equal here for these two are the common denominator 2. So that is 180 by 2 minus x by 2. So to 1 ja 2 90 ja 90 minus x by 2. So that is 90 minus x is nothing but angle BAC by 2. So this is the proof. Angle BOC is equal to 90 minus angle BAC by 